All right, in this demo, we are using a Pickaxe 18 M2 microcontroller. This is one of those here, and it's buried up there behind those wires. But we're all now we're going to use instead of transistors or MOSFETs, we're using the TA8050 H bridge. This is an update of an older video. Uh, we have a little more sophisticated programming in this, so let's take a look real quick. Here's my power distribution bus. This is a RS-232 connection to program the um, pickaxe. Let's zoom in just a bit. There are your three switches, forward, reverse, and stop. There's the TA8050. Here's my polarity LEDs. I also have the uh, current limiting circuit that I've used in other H-Bridge test circuits. Let's see how it does. What is to be noted in these, well, you're probably, if you've watched a lot of my videos, like it's sort of the same circuits on different processors. There is a point to this, that the very same ideas that you use on Arduino, Pickaxe, or a microchip pick are all the same. Because I tend to do low-level, more hardware-oriented programming, it's easy to move the program from one microcontroller to the next. That's what the point is here. I can do this. I've done the exact same things with a uh, microchip PIC, like a PIC 16F 628A, or an Arduino Nano. Does the same thing. So again forward, reverse, master stop. Let's look at, we'll look at the programming and a little more on the wiring of the TA8050. Thanks for listening. Here's the schematic that's wiring the uh, TA8050P to a Pickaxe 18M2 microcontroller very straightforward two connections at b.0 b.1 here are my three switches um, stop forward reverse whatever they're defined as in the program and that's it you go over here to connect directly to your motor and you might want to put you might want to put those indicator leds for polarity in there if they are, they're not shown in the schematic. All right, so, yep, that's it. That's how it hooked up. Here's an electrical overview of the TA8050 that's used in these. this demo. It consists of two input pins. Here's your motor connections, a ground, and this goes to your plus uh, VCC. As you can see, it's an, it has an internal H bridge. It has overcurrent detection to shut it down. And here's your control logic and some other over voltage and overcurrent protection. Here is the view again. You have two inputs, D, DL1 and DL2. Uh, and this is right off the spec sheet. It gives you a better idea how this works. Here's your typical electrical connections. You have, uh, of course, your, between your ground and your two input pins will go to whatever microcontroller you're using. These are 5 volt inputs. They will not work on 3. This goes directly to VCC and here's your two motor pin connections. Pretty simple.